All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. And this one will be a discussion topic video on how we interpreted, spoiler warning, episode 15 for Fear of the Walking Dead season 7, whether or not we think Alicia survived. All right, so spoiler warning for this one. If you have not yet seen Fear the Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 15, Amina. So we're going to be discussing kind of the final scenes here in uh, Amina. And uh, there will be more information coming out about this one on Talking Dead, I believe, which I think is going to be uh, this, uh, this weekend. Uh, people who watch... Uh, on AMC regular cable, don't get to, to see it till the week after. So, uh, but I know most of my audience actually, you know, people who really enjoy Walking Dead still uh, are on AMC Plus. So, kind of get the episodes for fear a week early. Uh, my apologies if uh, if you're behind, but really, this isn't really spoiler warning. This is really a discussion on because you know we don't know one way or another whether she did survive or she didn't. I kind of like what they did here with this uh, episode 15 kind of ending. Um, at first I was a bit confused and I think a lot of people were kind of confused with the final scenes whether or not we interpreted them as her actually living at the end here and uh, going off shooting a walker and then kind of uh, heading off uh, you know on land not um, not with everybody else not in the uh, not in the water not in a raft um, so how uh, we interpret this uh, this scene at the end here I, I think it's kind of purposefully left open-ended so uh, it feels like to me it seems like they sorta went with a, a concept where you know you can kind of interpret this last scene in the episode as either her maybe it's in her mind you know maybe the bird that she sees which i think relates back to uh what madison said about her and uh, and and nick and them having uh nursed a bird back to health so she kind of sees this uh little birdie little bird and uh, throughout the episode and then at the end here in the final important scene where she kind of wakes back up after she passed out after getting out of the raft that she was in with Strand. Um, after her kind of uh, coming to, um, you get to see this scene. She looks better. Um, she gets kind of the information maybe from her subconscious or unconscious that uh, from the little girl version of herself that her bite has healed and uh, she's able to kind of get up Lo looks better seems seems better and heads off and does not use the last bullet on herself so after seeing this scene a lot of people were saying the ending was confusing uh did she survive did she succumb to the bite and actually die during this scene and uh we'll see what they say this weekend on talking dead but if i had to predict i would most likely predict that I think it was left open-ended on purpose. Uh, now, we've seen this before with uh, Madison. You know, they didn't actually show Madison, um, you know, dying in Fear of the Walking Dead Season 4's mid-season finale. Um, we were given the impression that uh, she did, and they kind of mentioned on Talking Dead afterwards that she did. Um, but now, you know, that's kind of changed. We're going to see Madison back in Episode 16 for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 7. So I think... If I had to make a prediction, most likely this time the showrunners and the people involved will be a bit more careful to say that she's dead and he dead, like she's dead for for certain. I think what's probably going to uh, determine how this scene ultimately will be interpreted will be the future of the series and whether or not she returns in the series. And I think that uh, this is a really good setup and a really good way to go with this. Open-ended, each person can kind of, uh, you know, interpret it how they want to. You can interpret it as when she collapses, that that's basically her succumbing to the bite and she's basically dying, maybe crossing over to the other side, and then you see that scene after, which is in her mind or is her, uh, you know, in the afterlife, let's say, or something, something like this. You could interpret it that way, or you could interpret it as, no, she actually did heal up when she got a chance to rest and she was able to go ahead and wake back up. She looked better, she seemed to be feeling better, it looks like, and then she went off and shot a walker to continue onwards. So, um, 
You could interpret it as she survived or as she died. Uh, it's up to you how you want to look at that right now. And I think that time will tell outside of the series whether or not, you know, uh, it should be interpreted that way or, uh, or not. Left open ended on purpose. And um, even though it is a little bit disappointing that we didn't get to see a scene with her and Madison before uh, her leaving and before it was kind of announced that she's leaving, um, at least, you know, things are set up to where it's possible in the future we could still see a scene between the both of them. I'm thinking, like, what if in the final episode of the series, when the series is ending, what about if in the final episode you see Alicia return and be reunited with Madison just as the series is ending, like in the very final episode or something? Uh, I think that that would be an amazing way to bookend and finish off the series. And uh, as long as Madison's still alive at that point, it would be good because both would have left for a while, right? Th however many seasons they want to do with Fear of the Walking Dead now. Uh, now that Madison's back for season eight and everything, if they want to do a couple more seasons, two, three, or whatever they want to do, uh, mostly, most likely expecting to see the series kind of wrap probably around 10 years. Uh, I don't think it'll get past season 10, 11, you know, uh, wrapping probably in the next few years here. Wouldn't it be great to see Alicia return for that final episode and finally be reunited with Madison as your final climactic ending point for the series? I think that based on how the series starts, if you were able to see that in the very last episode, that would really be an awesome payoff to finish off the series. So I hope that in these uh, next you know, few coming years with Fear of the Walking Dead, that that might be what they're aiming for. I think this is a great setup for that if that's what they decide to do. And um, I hope we see that. If, if in fact she returns sooner than that and she actually does come back for season nine or season eight second half or something like this, that could work as well. Uh, if they do finish off the series and she doesn't come back at all, and this serves as her uh, being killed off at this point and, and, and dying at this point in the series, um, you know, it, it would kind of be disappointing, I, I think, which is the way a lot of us interpreted it. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's just, it is what it is at some point in time. Either the series is going to end or you're going to have a lot of these characters killed off. It's not clear how many would survive out the end of it and that AMC would want to keep alive if they, you know, want to go ahead and do uh, other, uh, you know, series or episodes in the future with different survivors. A good example is uh, ultimately what will they do long term with Morgan in that he is a multi-series survivor. He was in the original Walking Dead series in the pilot episode and now he's in Fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, I kind of expect to see him living through to the end of you know Fear of the Walking Dead and maybe even surviving on past the end of that series. Uh, it'd be great to see both Madison and Alicia alive at the end of Fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, Morgan as well. Those would be three that I would want to see as survivors. Maybe Dwight and Sherry too. Um, but we'll have to see ultimately what they want to do here in the next few years with the show. And I think that really that's probably going to be the determining factor for this. But there is a saying in the series which is no one's gone until they're gone. So if uh, this is open-ended and that we do see her kind of um, you know, uh, uh, getting better on her own and uh, maybe her not actually having been, you know, fatally sick, but instead may have been dealing with some kind of trauma as a result of the bite that's been messing with her ever since then, um, which definitely makes a lot of, uh, a lot of sense too. So uh, I want to see uh, from you guys, what do you think regarding this scene? Leave your comments below. How did you interpret this? And we'll have to watch closely this weekend for Talking Dead to see how they explain this through with the showrunners and everything and whether or not they confirm one way or another. I hope it will continue to be left open-ended because I think that's probably best. That way in the future they can kind of go either way with it depending on how things go here in the next couple years for Fear of the Walking Dead. Comments below. Did you think she survived or do you think she died? When I first saw it I thought she died in that episode like this was her, her death scene and uh, very disappointed in that. But then after people were like, well, Trev, you know, you didn't really think about, uh, you know, she could have healed there and that final scene could have been uh, her just kind of healing up naturally and, uh, you know, false alarm maybe and and off she goes and it was ended up being okay. But man, was that final scene ever sad between her and Strand when they wave each other off. That was like, that was one of the saddest scenes uh, ever in Walking Dead. Probably the saddest scene in Fear the Walking Dead ever. 
uh, that I can remember, aside from like maybe Nick or something like that, when that uh, when he is he's killed off, or John or somebody. That is, uh, those are kind of those are kind of some brutal, brutally sad ones too. So comments below: Did she survive or not? That's my take on it. I think it will be determined by the next few years. Um, how things go with the uh, finish off for Fear here in the next years. I don't expect Fear to get like a season 11 or 12 or anything past 10. Uh, a couple more years, I think, is probably it. But leave, leave comments below, and I'll see you guys back in soon for another video. As always, it's Trev saying peace later, guys. See you soon.